we rolling? Oh, oh, my bad, we rolling. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. No matter what time it is when you're seeing this video, it is time, it is time, it is time. And guess what? Y'all should know what time it is. It is time. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that for your boy one time. You won't be disappointed. Now, let's get to the video. What's up, y'all? I hope that y'all having a wonderful start to y'all day so far. Well, you should because it's Friday. Congratulations. You made it to the end of the week. And the fact of the matter is, it's a three-day weekend for some of us out here in this world. So, if you want to know what I'm doing, I'm out here trying to water this grass and water these flowers. Because right now, it's 100 degrees outside, but the heat index says that it's about 106 to 107 degrees. So, yeah, we out here starving. So, I'm trying to feed these, the plants and the grass. It's already burnt, but I don't want it to get burnt too much. But, like I said, congratulations. You made it Friday. It's going to be a three-day weekend for some of us here. Like a three-day vacation. Some of us really need that. Now, I want to make this a short video. But, I had something else on my mind and on my heart that I wanted to talk about. It's just about being happy. Just be happy. Be thankful for the things that you do have in your life. Now, I will definitely say... When it comes down to being in a higher vibrational energy, for those who are not sure what I mean by higher vibrational energy, it's just another word for just being positive and being like in a in a space. Like it's just in a positive space to where no matter what anyone tells you or try to say to you, they can't bring down your energy. They can't bring you down from being highly positive down to being negative. Just because somebody got something negative going on in their life don't mean that you have to harbor that negativity and take that into your own space and take it as your own. So, meaning that you had a good day today, you had your breakfast, like you had a shower, you got your day started, you went to the gym, you had started your day off on a good note, and nobody could take that away from you. But whether it's a friend of yours or an associate, co-worker, significant other, whoever it is that cross your path, and they come around you thinking negatively, and they try to push their beliefs on you to being negative, trying to say, well, I don't know why you being so positive. Like, you shouldn't have anything to be positive about. I got this going on, and you over here being positive. No. You're not allowing that. So you're not allowing that space. It's cool that people going to have their bad days. It's cool. We all not perfect. We all have good days and we all have bad days. But it's entirely up to you and the mindset that you're in that allows how many of those days that you have going to be positive and how many of those days are going to be negative. So, biggest steps that you have to learn how to take is... Analyze every situation that you have or you got to take every single thing that you got going on in your life It's not a ill. It's not a loss. You got everything that happens in your life is for a reason Everything happens. It's a lesson So once you come across that lesson, it's entirely up to you to take note of what was going on At the end of the day Go ahead and relay that message. Go ahead and sit down with those notes that you took whether it's that you had to sit down and you had to write a physical note or if it was like a mental note that you took for yourself. Wait until the end of the day. Go ahead and re have a recap. Just sit there and reflect on your day. And just figure out like, hey, what happened today? Like, what went wrong today? Like, what was the universe? What was God trying to show me? What was God trying to tell me about today I have all days was it the way how I present myself to people was it the way how I handle certain situations did I have so that set intentions that's how I wanted to set but I didn't follow through on those intentions like I said I wanted to that's just kind of question that you have to ask yourself and once you start believing in yourself and you start having those self checks self check conversations with yourself that's why i always say like self care and self help is the number one thing that you need to take care of just sit there and reevaluate everything just have a pep talk with yourself 
figure out what happened that day and reflect on it and then learn from it and move forward from it. You shouldn't keep sitting around trying to dwell on the past on things that already happened in the past. You can't focus on the past. You have to focus on your future. And sometimes you can't even focus on the future because if you so focus on the future and worry about the past, what about the present time? You have to be in the present time. You have to live in the present time. Or how some people say, you have to live in the moment. You literally have to live in the moment. Because if you're too busy trying to live in the past, the past is already done and over with. You can't change the past. The only thing that you can do for the past is take note of what happened, learn from your mistakes, and learn from those lessons to keep moving forward. Which means, worry about your present time. You can't worry about the future right now. You got to worry about the present time because your present time is going to work on that future. So everything that you do today, everything that you do today is for the future. So no longer you should be sitting around dwelling in the past, worry about the future, worry about the present time, live in the present moment, worry about the things that you can take care of right now, the things that are that's within your control. And the things that's not within your control, don't sweat it. Don't even try to sit there and try to fight it. All you gotta do is just worry about what you can do what's in, within your control. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. I don't know who needs to hear this. I know more than likely some of y'all probably just sitting there like, I used to be like that myself. I was just sitting there and listening like, yeah, uh -huh. you just telling me what, I think I, what you think I wanna hear. Like, no, I'm living from experience. The fact of the matter is you have to live in the present time. You can only worry about the things that's only within your control. Other than that, you should have had nothing else to worry about. Like if it's a bill that you know that you definitely don't have the funds for and you can't take care of, don't stress out about it. They do have options to where they may either be able to push back a payment, change your payment date as a one-time courtesy, or they may say like, hey, we're just gonna go ahead and give you like a, how can we say it? Just give you like a credit or give you like a, hey, this is a one-time currency fee remover or something like that. That's regarding for your bills. If you have something that's going on with your car, you have to learn how to be resourceful. And only then, that's where you have to worry about anything else. Just worry about being resourceful. Try to figure out what resources do you have? Are you fully capable of doing something within your power? And if it's not within your power, then you got to go with that next step. Reach out to people who are in your corner. The ones that's actually there for you, not the ones that say, oh, well, if you call me, I'll be there for you. We are actually talking about the ones that's actually going to be there. Your A1 since day ones, the ones that's going to come through for you no matter what. The ones that don't mind waking up at 2.30, 3 o'clock, sometimes 4 o'clock in the morning to your phone call because they are because you need their assistance they're not going to question you now they're not going to question you they're going to be okay what do you need i'm on my way no questions asked everybody that's out here that's saying that's your friend that's that's your friend yeah we're going to see how much of a friend they are when the time comes when you actually need them like i know like sometimes on facebook we have all these facebook uh posts we have all these friends we have over two or three hundred friends but how many of those friends on that list actually gonna be there for you how many of those people were actually say they, they was gonna be there for you when it was something that you was doing for them it was uh, like the time when you was beneficial to them what happens when you're no longer beneficial to them what happens when you can't come out of pocket anymore and supply that help to them that you was always doing what happens then that's the question that you gotta ask yourself I had to learn my lesson a long time ago just because of the fact that I was always that person I was trying to be there for everybody every single day whether if I had a night I was trying to be there for people and they milked me dry I'm not even gonna hold you they milked me dry I got to the point to where I barely had enough gas to put in my car I barely had any food like money in my pocket to buy myself some food because I kept giving and giving and giving and giving and giving to people. But when I needed something in return, nobody was there to be found. When I told them I didn't have it, shoot, they dropped me off. They literally dropped me off and moved on to the next person until they saw that I came back up and they came right back around full circle 
trying to get what I had until I had to learn how to start saying no. Only then that's why I found out who my real friends were. And like I said, I can only count, I could count my friends on one hand. My true number one friends, or my two my true number one friends, I should say. Those are the people that's actually there for you. And those are the ones that you gotta keep by your side. So whether it's male or female, whether you went through a breakup, that person was there for you, whether they was at your emotional support, you gotta stay with them. Just because like, if y'all was both single and then all of a sudden they turn around and they get in a new relationship and they see you look up, you never hear from them anymore. That's because of the fact that they put they all into that relationship and they just throw their friends to the side until something bad happens and they come right back again. And it's a reoccurring cycle, it's a reoccurring process all over again. So you just gotta make sure, this is where I'm building up to it. You just gotta make sure that you stay positive and you gotta stay in your high frequency vibrational energy. Meaning you gotta continue to keep staying positive no matter what life throws at you. Whether it's, like I said, financial stability or personal relationships, anything that you got going on in your life. If it's something that is out of your control, don't keep harboring and keep holding on to that. You got to learn how to let that go. If you can't figure it out within like 24 or 48 hours, let that go. It's not even for you to figure it out. It's going to get to a point to where even when you have people that try to tell you like, hey, this is not your problem. There's nothing that you can do to help me with this. But if you continue to keep trying to help them, then that's your fault right there. You got to learn from your lessons. You got to learn from that mistake. You got to learn to heed the signs and take the signs. Take those warnings. Because those warnings will be out there. They be trying to tell you. That's just the universe. That's just God trying to tell you, like, look, I need you to try, stop trying to help on this particular thing. Let things run its course. You got to let things just happen for what it is. Everything happens for a reason. Just remember that. That's all I gotta say is just remember everything happens for a reason. It's not, I won't say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put it this way. Anything that we feel like is negative that happens to us, it happens to us for a reason because it's something that's better out there for us. It's only up to us to realize the fact that, hey, I know this happened. I feel like this was bad, but it's for me. Something's better and something greater is out there for me. All I got to do is just be patient and stay consistent. And I'll be able to manifest what I really want and what is really deserving of me. So, like I said, when you have people that's consistently trying to bring you down, you cannot allow them to bring you down. Every single time you build yourself up and someone try to tear you back down, that's okay. That just means that you are learning to master on how to control your emotions how to keep yourself in a higher vibrational state meaning that when you have like multiple days when you start thinking positive and just staying positive no matter what nothing can bring you down it's gonna be times so where we probably gonna crash out a little bit and what i mean by crash out is that we're gonna end up taking a day of we may not talk to people we may just need like a half a day to rest just so we can recharge and bring our energy levels back up because sometimes being on a high, higher vibrational energy state, our bodies are not capable of staying that high too long. Sometimes we gotta come back down, we gotta recharge just like our cell phones. You gotta put it on a charge, you gotta let that thing charge back up before you can get back out there to it. So that's all I gotta say. Make sure you just stay positive. And you're going to be able to manifest things that go, that's going to come to you. You're going to potentially, some of us going to start seeing reoccurring numbers like 111. We're going to probably see sevens. We're probably going to see eights, nines, tens, elevens. We're going to probably start seeing just numbers and patterns that's coming out of nowhere and we don't understand what it is. That's just the universe trying to communicate with us and let us know like, hey, either you're on the right path or you need to focus more on this or trusting your guardian angels, or learn to embrace a new chapter and a new beginning that's coming in your life. So everything that you're doing, if you start seeing those numbers and you start seeing like consistency and everything's coming back in full circle, just know that you're doing something right. Continue to keep staying on that path. Make sure you stay positive about what you're doing and don't shy away from it. The moment that you see a sign or anything, don't switch up. 
Because the moment that you switch up, that's when things are probably going to start going in the opposite way that what you wanted to go. Just stay consistent. Consistency is key. Okay. Like I said, I just wanted to keep that as a short conversation with you guys because that was on my heart. And I just wanted to be able to share that with you. So if that was beneficial to you, go ahead and like the video, share it. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Join the family. We consistently growing over here day by day. So I love each and one of my family members. I love you and I appreciate you for taking the time to watch me talk about this and basically bump my gums. Well, you know, we don't bump our gums over here. Each and every single one of us, we don't yap, we don't bump our gums. The fact of the matter is every single time that we talk, there's information being transmitted. There's always information to be learned and something to be told. Okay, guys, I love you. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.